Eni to lion sa ye lo re o. Inu kiri o fi mi le pa ni. Ala sonu ala la wo je pa. Ba mi ke di me ye pe yo gude o. O to ba ba je o ma da ma do de. Se se da bi o le o. O me le an je gwe na. O go ku ile gba bo de. Ira wa yo wo koko. O san oru me ni to lo san oju. Ara mi o riri. Ba ti ba ja duro are ni pa je o. Ba mi ke di me ye pe ni. Se ki se ro mori ara re lu ki to che. Ina duro ku lo je yo. E wo mo eniyan. O se ntabi guguru. O mi ko unu le sele. Ba mi duro bi mi le pa ni wo. Awon la la ka yan ko nbe. Ile pa mi o. Bi lo bi mi le pa ni. Ni filo wa ju, o selenke jo wa yami. Ora si ti konde o, awa si selenke se video fi mi si o wa tu di ya jelo big chabi. Alaba ta wa ni mo fe shi fi. No no, bi ko ibo street, jack on the estate, baja Lagos. And where no money? Zero eight zero three five seven six two five nine zero. Zero eight zero two nine three zero three six one two. Ati zero eight zero five double six double two triple three. Ati si wa ka kile sa ya video fi don ta quality. Alaba ya se wa ne. Salvation Evangelical Ministries. Tell that we want just this. To take a video film, me not jade. Oh, Juju at the job. Let's see one in the video film. Little talk. To Juju at the job, it's too yato. Tan shake way, tan leg way, tan for it back way. Oh, Juju at the job, long body. No Juju at the job, kira kita. What you like? Oh, 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 go go nini so ho! Oro to waba shi ti ye lo ube A jami on lo fo wosok e di goro E gbona, po lo wo ni shi kere shi do wa Mo to mna wobi e le da yi E ni de ru le ru ton E le te le te le A wwe me o kukun la wo ni kwa gwe shi le a na Oh, jiji a ti jo Ha! I kule a di yama o Tan jom on lo mo do Oh, jiji a ti jo shala ye Te te lo ra video fi wo Jiji a ti jo ye Ki bo gwe shi Bo gwe kwe Bo gwe a ron si a ta sa si a ye re o po ra bi so On a ra yo pon be O kwa kwa kiri a mwe le ta jia Tom ta original video films Oh, jiji a ti jo Kokoro ako she, fubo kwa wato reti si mi oko Little Lie, Sister Kids Production presents Little Lie He caught me a thief, I swear The great black star the disciplinary Question here, surprise, thought, happiness The part, you generation of vipers No, this righteous part is mine In Jesus name You are a thief Yeah, destiny is castle Little Lie you are the ease of kids and how destiny is being eliminated and substituted due to five minutes enjoyment. It is a first watch for kids, adults, and every parent that wants the best for their children in destiny. Little life, after by the little children. Little life bring big disaster. The repercussion of little life is disastrous. Fissuring, Lekar Sikia, Moses Makide, Rotim Yamadu, and Fedo Washeni. Introducing Joshua Washeni, Titi Arinde, Prisoner at Law for Washeni, and Sunday Olorifoni, Little Life! Who are getting and this to put a guy? Mofe Gospel Fumes, number one, Oguto in Bow Street, Ibaja, Lagos. Telephone, 0035762590 or 566233 and 29306-12. Who have your copy? Now! Hey, <laughs> Kwa di alari keri. Bokwa onta ba ti she lo ni koma adofo. Aro yi koma bato sa. I ba lo mu ni da wole gbo giri. Kita so ma bata le. I ho ho la gba do wole. Kaye yi odofo. Ashe. Ujo yi o temi lo lo. E ni kawa ya oba. Ejo o kusha. Uwa sha ma te si waju. Oti da she ku. Thou shalt not see. They were charged with robbery on the 15th of last month. Two policemen were gunned down on their duty post. Amit, this is my father's property. That is the proof of fire. Those people there you are seeing are thieves. Whoever that we kill and as well tell lie and fornicate. Yeah. Yeah, you will have the opportunity 
of knowing the portion of adulterers and fornicators. Yeah, they will weep and wallow in agony and pain because dangerous animals have been prepared to have intercourse with them forever. Lucky! Mama Lucky! Grab your copy now. Actions as exposed, the senior prefect in the school. Nonsense. I will take nonsense. Do you want to do something? Faster. Cooler, cooler. I said cooler. faster. Is that so? Yeah. You people have to do something. Do something before they get rid of you in the school. And make sure you establish the honorable black star court in your school. Is that clear? Yeah. Are you hearing me? I didn't just copy on. Telling you my action will come with big results. All the steps I've been taking is to go against the SU. I mean the stupid junior in the school. Mind you, I am not acting wrongly. So don't play with Tank of Scorpion. Thank you. 
I have observed that you have not been faithful to the standard I set before you, except Tony. It is written in Proverbs 7.1, My son, keep my word and lay up my commandments with thee. If you want to be distinguished in life, you must learn how to work harder in the spirit than your mates. For whatsoever a man wants to become is first established in the spiritual realm. So children, I want you to learn on a daily basis. You must learn how to praise God for 15 minutes, pray for 15 minutes, and read your scripture for 15 minutes. Apart from the family general devotion, of course that is the standard of God in this house that cannot be changed. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, children, you see, what your mother said is very, very important. I want you to know that there is nothing as good as starting a day with God. Moreover, God has given us 24 hours within a day. There shouldn't be any problem whatsoever to give him just one or two hours out of that 24 hours. I pray that God will help us to be faithful to him in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, you see, God has spoken to us several times through these devotions we have in the morning and evenings. And I believe that God still wants to speak to us today. And God will be speaking to us through uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 1. Genesis 22, verse 1. Um, Anita, please read that verse for us. Genesis 22, verse 1. And it came to pass, after these things, that God did send to Abraham. This is the way. 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 This is the way we wash ourselves. Wash ourselves. Wash ourselves. This is the way we wash ourselves. Early in the morning. This is the way. 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 This is the way we brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. Brush our teeth. has come to the notice of this great school that some students are involved in series of nefarious acts thereby tarnishing the image of this school outside most especially the senior classes the SS2 and the SS3 classes for this reason the school management has decided to suspend the senior prefect. Yeah. 
there is need to appoint a new one. Is that not so? This will be a surprise to you as well as interest you that the new senior program for this school shall neither be coming from the SS2 houses nor the SS3 houses. The new prefer for this school shall be coming from the SS1 houses. The new prefect is hardworking, dedicated, disciplined, and very zealous. We shall be announcing it tomorrow. <laughs> Senior prefect for this great school is Tony Michael. this fence. They are, they are not supporting we teachers. Come on, Nino! Nino! Bro! Come with the news! Stupid boy! Come on, bro! Nonsense! I can't do this, please! Killing and rioting and rampart in our schools this day because we fail to give room to God to reign in our activities. The so-called leaders of our school, churches, or governments that ought to live as an example are the pioneers of courtism. The fear of God is far from them. For instance, as big as this our school is, there's no Christian fellowship gathering. Can't a teacher be raised as a Messiah to start one? Ha! Abomination. The idea of fellowship can never work except teachers are allowed to sell out their end book privately. If that is the case, then they are wrong because secondary school is the appropriate place for government can and all Christian organizations to catch them young for God. And also because secondary school is the place where most students lay their foundation of what will become in life. That's exactly what I'm saying. If our leaders do what they ought to do, our secondary school will be much more better than what they are now. I suggest prayer. Let's pray the spirit of revival in all our schools so that there won't be vacancy for the devil anymore. Let's pray that in Jesus' name. you are doing. I stand to be corrected. You are all a disgrace to this school. 
Why are you fighting and threatening yourself with death? Okay. Anyway, what's the problem all about? He said he kept his money in his locker and he could not find it again. I don't know what came over his hands that made him to say I'm the one that stole his money. Tony, don't mind that. When we were at the field playing during break time, somebody told me so I come out of our classroom. Then I later discovered that my money was missing from my locker. I'm sure she's the one that stole it. Yes, she's the one. Yes, she's the one. Believe me. I swear. No. I swear. I swear. I'm not the one that stole his money. Do you know what you're saying is deformation of character? Anyway, there's a simple solution to this matter. I know of an herbalist close to my head here. Very good at designing the truth on such matters. Oh, what do you feel? There's no way I know too. Several are admitting my name in such matter. Since no one is ready to hold up, then everybody must follow me to that baba. Yes. 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 yes! No, I'm not going to your fake baba. Neither yours. Uh, yes, yes. I prefer you going to the abalis than all this fighting and threatening us every day. Since both of you are involved in the case, it's not the best for you to dictate where to go to. There's a man I know. He's very good at designing eating things. Do you all agree we should go to the man I know? Yes. Yes. What about that? I'm not rigid about any particular man. All I want is how to get back my money. Simple. So let's go. My money must come out. 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 so much debt as this. You were given hundred talents when you were going to the world. But the record here in the case you are having an outstanding debt of 456 talents. Having lost the whole hundred talents you went to the world with. Can't you see for yourself? As tiny as the world is, it outweighs you. Why? This is ridiculous. How did I miss it so much? Oh, was I having a wrong foundation? Where exactly did I miss it? Where exactly did I deviate? The answer to your question can only be found in the record of your life. But I don't think it's necessary checking through the record because there is no room for correction or restitution for the dead. So, it's simply useless trying to find out where you missed it. I don't care. I don't want it to be useful for me. 
I just want to know where I've missed it. All right then. You go to the wall with the whole hundred talents you were given. You kept it up to your first year in the secondary school. In your second year in the secondary school, you lost 10 talents as a result of your involvement in the stealing of the school properties. In your third year, you lost another 10 talents as a result of your involvement in the act of taking hard drugs. Two weeks later, you lost 20 talents when you joined a secret cult. Four days later, you lost another 20 talents as a result of your involvement in the act of fornication. A week after your West African school certificate examination, you lost 15 talents as a result of your involvement in rioting and killing. Ha! What's the matter, my friend? I've just discovered where you recorded the greatest loss. And where could that be? Ha! <sighs> when you rejected the gospel of the only begotten Son of God, When you made nonsense of the message of the cross. When you frustrated the opportunity you had to give your life to Jesus Christ and avoid hell. That was when you massively lost 35 talents. At that point, you incurred the debt of 10 talents. Having lost the whole 100 talents, you got to the world. Don't be deceived. The whole heaven is seeing you as a prodigal son that failed to return home. You are an unfruitful child. And you have incurred the great anger of God. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3 settles your case. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation which at first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that had him. I, 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 I. Keep quiet and depart. Ah, ah Pastor, I'm going to face. I'm going to face. I'm going to I have been seeing my mom and dad this morning. And I also stole one of my body's money. <laughs> please, Lord, stop, please. Show me the way. I don't want to go to hell. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Does it mean that I will lose 20 talents for the sake of courtesy? Because I'm a courtesy. And 35 talents for failing to accept Jesus. Yes. A lot more. There's no doubt about this. But Jesus is the only solution. I will take this great step as well. I have involved myself in many atrocities. Taking the right decision. For this decision that you have made today, the heaven is rejoicing. Yes. There is a great joy in heaven for you to have surrendered to Jesus 
and for you to see him as your Lord and personal Savior. And for this that you have done, you have won over 200 talents. Because zero plus Jesus is here. And if you stay in the Lord and maintain your stand in him, you are going to gain over hundreds of thousands of talents. Those guys are risking their lives. They have been so deceived by the fallacy of the so-called pastor. They renounce the black star court in the public. How can they forget the implication of divorcing the black star court? How? How? You made a mess of it, honorable black star court in their church? Yes! Yes! Tony! Tony! I repeat, Tony! Should not be taken as innocent in this matter. After all, is the cause, the root of everything. They are doomed. I swear, death is the penalty. Mm. They will die and be death, one after the other. Yes. The innocent blood will drown together. We will never forgive them. And that is why we sent for you to lay an ambush, to fight against them with other black stars in other school. We will live to see what our Jesus, what our Jesus will do when we waste their life. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy for me. God bless you. Mr. Ayola, I pray I have such a boy like Tony as a child. The boy is such a brilliant, obedient, and very disciplined boy. I like him. What do you mean? We are all a living witnesses to all his achievements. See, this is a letter from Mama Pass Power Pentecostal Ministry inviting the school for a Bible competition. And the principal assigned the letter that Tony should go and represent us again. The boy is such a unique boy. I pray I have such a son. Good afternoon, how are you? I pray I have such a son. What? Let's thank God for all his achievements. Tony is lifted. I'm not disputing that. <laughs> but, you see, it is not that God has made him special from Good others. Afternoon. Let's use maize as a case study. If you plant a corn on a clay soil, another one on a loamy soil, and another one on a sandy soil, and even on a rock, one common thing with them is that they will all grow, but with different color and different stature. Simply because their source of nutrients are quite richer than each other. You see, every child is like an empty envelope given to parents by God. And God has mandated parents to impart into their children what they really want their child to be in life. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. I'm still very much more convinced that Tony's parents are teaching their children to press high spiritual combinal button. Because it is not only Tony that is making waves in their family. Yeah. All their children are genius. I see. That's it. You know what, Mr. Ayala? I'm going to get closer to the family. Huh? So become their family friend. So that I will know the spiritual button they are pressing. To have wonderful children like that. What? I desire to have wonderful children also. It's up to you. What? Okay. Have you Thank you. We we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to the annual quiz competition for the teenagers organized by Power Pass. Our Pentecostal ministry tagged Cash Dem Young for Christ. That is very awesome. And so I want us to give a round of applause to appreciate 
Power Pass Power Pentecostal Ministries for organizing such a program. Alright. Jesus is the founder and the chairman of this great Bible quiz competition. And so I want us to I mean express our appreciation to him by giving Jesus, the Master Jesus, a round of applause. Yeah. At this point, I would want to beseech you in the name of the Lord to please give us your 100% cooperation. Don't answer any question when you are not asked. No whispering. No noise. No argument. And try to be a very good representative of your school. And I pray that God will help you all. Amen. I can see some handsome brothers and beautiful sisters here today. Listen, you're a blessing to this generation. Please give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. I have not to forget this. It's very, very important. Hi. Boya Shimalu is the moderator of today's quiz competition. Yeah, and beside me here. Ha. Huh? At first, my honorable timekeeper. And, and my honorable judge, the great judge of the heart. I didn't really, I didn't really. This is the this is the this is the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, understand me well I will explain myself to you those two containers represent your life you know what you are not serious at all because earlier on you told me that that container contains ill luck curses sickness spells and now you're not telling me that these containers represent me you must be joking What is going on? very well. I mean, they can't pretend they don't know me. I mean, we know one another. You, okay, you know what? I'll call them back so that you know. So oh, the why the friend? You don't have to worry yourself. It's not as serious as that. Serious? <laughs> if you know how close I was to these three men, you won't tell me that I'm worried. In fact, you will see it as a big crime. That they passed here and they pretended that they didn't know me. But wait a minute. Let me tell you something about them. The first man that you saw there, he was my first love. I mean, I gave him my love. I lived my life to please him. The second man that just passed, when I was looking for admission into the university, he was the one that helped me out. So I just thought, okay, what way can I pay this man back? I gave him my love. Now, the third man that passed, I'm sure you know him. He's very rich and famous. He sponsored me throughout my university days, even to my service days. But honestly speaking, I mean, to say the truth, I forced myself on him because, you know, he had money. I yielded myself even more than I did to the others. 
Now for him to see me and not even say a word to me is a crime. But, wait, what is inside that container? I mean, what did they drop there? And here, what did they take from here? What an amazing question. But you said it all. You said those men had affairs with you, right? Of course. I mean, is there any problem? Good. You now listen. When a man and a woman are involved in a sexual intercourse outside marriage, they both share what is in their blood and water together. That is physical. But in the spiritual realm, it's more dangerous with a far-reaching consequences because you are bound to share from his causes, misfortune, sickness, and spell of your partner. The passing across attest to the fact that they had affairs with you some time ago. Good. In the process, they dropped part of their problems into your life and picked part of your blessings away. So, my dear, sex outside wedlock is contaminated, disastrous, and sinful. So, so, um, you mean, I'm, I'm, what can I do? I mean, you should be able to help me. Please. That is the revelation I receive about you. Please, if there's anything of such, confess it so that we know how to do the necessary restitution. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, true. Yes. It's true. Let us pray. If a thousand people run a race, definitely, just one of them must come first. But as the standard of this quiz competition, we must definitely get to define the first, the second, and the third position respectively. No, none of you here will go home without a gift. I would want to invite the judge to give us the result. <coughs> the third position goes to Bisola Akeyode. <laughs> and in every competition, there should be what? A winner. And the winner goes to Tony Michael. And Anita Michael. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Both of them came first in this competition. They scored 98%. <laughs> I now hand over everything to the moderator. A round of applause for them. of you are not from the same school. Yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, are you from the same family? Yes, yes sir. sir. What a blessed family! Thank Please, you, sir. give them another round of applause. <laughs> 
that we have not yet have a defined position for the first and the second. And according to the standard of this competition, we must have them defined. And so uh, I will need to go another round of questions for both of them that are involved in this type of position. So please, come and take your position. I will start from you, Anita Michael. So, pick a question. Question number five. Hmm. Question number five. This question requires deep thinking. And so I want you to listen attentively. I need a solution to this problem. Let's say, in an organized program like this, God decides to be answering the prayer of somebody. I mean, just one person. And on this particular year, there were two people awaiting God to answer their prayers. One of them is very rich. I mean, stinkingly rich. But he has no child. And so he is believing God for twins. And the other one is very, very poor. He is believing God for three million naira only. What do you think should be done? We want to meet the need of both of them. Yet, God's standard can never be compromised. Just one person will be answered. So what do you think we can do? Anita, how are you? Good <laughs> moon. That's my girl. And uh, how was school today? Bad. Ah, bad? Why? Why? I committed a blunder in the school today. You know, this is to be my best subject. Yes. But I failed one elementary question on physics today. Thank God it was not an examination. It was just an ordinary question during a physics lecture. What elementary question did my dear and brilliant daughter fail? It was just, what is physics? Ah, ah. Anita, you mean you couldn't define physics? No, 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 no. Look, I am highly disappointed in you. But Dad, why are you saying this? It was because it escaped my mind. It's okay. Okay, Dad. Yes. Am I permitted to ask you this question? Dear. <laughs> Anita wants to ask me a question. <laughs> okay, Anita. Please go ahead and ask Daddy the question. 
I know you love geography very well. Uh -huh, of course. Yes. Mm -mm. I will not ask you a question on regional geography or map reading. Yes. Daddy, you are a clergy. Yes, of course. Who is a pastor? Um. <laughs> <coughs> A pastor is a shepherd. And you know who is a shepherd? A shepherd is that person that looks after the flock. Mm -hmm. So, a pastor is expected to look after the flock mm -hmm. of God. A pastor is a mother in the household of God. She takes care and nurtures a child in the way and standard of God. And because they have the heart of God, they live a righteous life and teach others too. Yes, a pastor is an ambassador of God on heart. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, mommy, I give you 99.9% .9 for that perfect answer. But one more question, sir. Uh -huh. Another question. What was wrong with the woman I met downstairs? Oh, um, Mrs. Obi. Yes. Um, you see, uh, our case is really pathetic. Huh. Um, she lost her husband in a road accident that happened last year. And uh, you see, not only that, she was left with two grown-up children, and um, her husband's family have been a thorn in her flesh. Uh. They've been giving her a hell of a time. She's finding it difficult to pay the house rent, school fees, and, you know, just name it. I placed down three days of praying and fasting, and it should end tomorrow. You see, in fact, when she came today, I prayed and anointed her heavily for success and breakthrough. Yeah. And I trust God that the Lord will rise up and fight her battle. Amen. Yeah. But if it were me, I wouldn't have bothered myself to pray and anoint her. How do you mean? I would have presented myself as Jehovah Jireh, the great provider. Once I have what can meet her needs, just for her to pay our children's school fees and little money to start petty trade. Daddy, giving her money and teach her how to use it will be the best. By so doing, she will not forget us and she will be seeing us as small God. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Anita. It's okay, it's okay. Please, Anita, go inside now and change your clothes and come and have your food. You hear? God bless you. It is possible. If he's thinking rich and generous, let him position himself as Jehovah Jireh, the great provider, and give the poor three million or more. The poor will go with joy and laughter and leave the rich for God to answer him. Surely, the rich needs shall be met without any opposition against his request. Mm. That is the way I think. We can bring laughter to both of them. Please, a round of applause for her. A round of applause for Anita. That is wonderful. Very wonderful. Hmm. Um, Tony Michael, it's your turn. Pick a number. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. All right. Why do you think men that sow seed in God's kingdom, when it is time for God to pay them back, some get their reward instantly. For some, it may take days, for some weeks, some months, some are there as delayed into years. And the delay is not as a result of sin. 
the devil, sort of an enemy. So what do you think? Not enemy. Not the devil. No sin. Time and chance. Time and chance. Um, truly, time and chance happens to them all. But I will give you if you can explain further. Is there anyone from the audience who can explain further? You. Please tell us your full name and explain. I'm Shira Jensen. And we are likening the blessing of God to his people as seed. When God blessed his people, he has given a seed unto them. There are many types of seeds and the days of germination are different to each other. For example, Vegetable seed returns to money after a few weeks, but the income is little. Corn seed returns to money after three or four months, but the income there is more than that of the vegetable seed. Yam seed returns to money after a year. The income is more than that of the first two. But whoever God gives cocoa seed to need extra patience, endurance, and faith because Cocoa seed will last for three years or above before it turns to money. If it starts to bear fruit, if there's no fire accident, it brings wishes to the owner that the remains. Thank you. That is wonderful. Please give us a call. That was easy. Uh, please, take note. <sighs> Tony, I we we'll want to give you another opportunity to prove to me if you want standing up here or going down. And so I will allow you to ask another question. Number 50. Number 50. Tell me six dangers in being a copycat in one minute. A copycat will fall into a pit the very day the man is copying falls into a pit. Mm. A copycat ministry or business will die the very day the man is copying ministry business die or change his pace. A copycat will always be the second and never the first. A copycat will always be a carbon copy and never the original. A copycat Copycat. Copycat. A copycat is an enemy of God. And so risk the danger of the wrath of God upon him. Anyone who wants to be like another loses his sense of destiny and has nothing to fulfill. They go about repenting another man's glory. You can go back to your seat. I think uh, this is the end of today's Bible quiz competition. As we can see, the second position goes to Tony Michael. And uh, without doubt, Anita Michael occupies the seat of the first position. That's all right, sit down. Without any doubt, Anita Michael deserved being honored and being crowned the queen of this year's Catch Them Young for Christ. That's all right, that's all right. Um, we can
can go on with the dressing now. You can come forward, come forward, come forward. Anita, you can come forward. Come forward. of this competition has packaged a heart of refreshment for every contestant at this competition and so you will need to go to the reception to have yourself refreshed and uh, after that you will come back here for your gifts Come follow me and I'll blow it to another level. I keep the riches of the world around in your pan, the sweetest and the best. Thank you, thank you. Follow me. Oh, oh, I'm never your type. These are the gifts we were given from the quiz competition. Hmm? Ah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. In fact, God really favored us today and we're being honored. Despite the fact that Tony and I came from different schools, yet we led them all. Uh -huh. I took first. Uh -huh. Why Tony took the second position? I am very, very proud of you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Anita, which one is your own and which one is for Tony? Uh, mine is this. Yeah. That is a carton of milk. Oh, oh, carton of milk. Yes. Ah, ah. Look, <laughs> that means you have lots of milk to drink. Yes. <laughs> the milk company is doing sales promotion. Yeah. They sell there is a gift inside. That's true. I have them announcing the name on this thing, but I couldn't pay attention to the announcement. Is that so? But look, look. I mean, something is very surprising. What is it, sir? Can't you see? How can there be a competition mm. and the first prize winner will go home with a carton of milk while the person who came second will be given a television set? Ah, it sounds funny. Mm. Now what for this organizer? So. <laughs> really know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. They might have been aware that there is a gift inside. Gift? Mm -hmm. This is the gift. That's true. What's that? The, gift. the digital camera. The digital camera. Yes. Ah. In fact, the law really knows how he meets the needs of his people. Hmm. It has been long that I've been believing God for something like this. Hmm. There are so many things in my school that I would love to snap and keep for documentation. Hmm. With this, I believe I'll be able to accomplish all my desires. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, is a miracle working God. Hmm. Yes. You know that we the need of His people. Yes. Hello, viewers. This is Honey Me Show, and this show is sponsored by Honey Me Company. We have started announcing the winning numbers again. Yes. Let all the lucky fellows that have this number on their net label bring it to our national headquarters within 24 hours. Are you prepared, viewers? You can just take your pen as I record the number. The number chosen as a first position is this. Hex to Q. 01 I repeat. She's repeating it. 01 it. Then the second number that is chosen as a second position is this. Hex dash X zero two double one zero three two one three three. I think they are sitting for an examination. Correct. <laughs> and the number chosen has a third position is this. Hex dash X zero two double one double three zero two double one. I congratulate all you prospective lucky winners. Keep drinking honey milk. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Not yet, not yet, please, not yet. No, no. Yeah, please, uh, go and do that in your room. Hmm? It's okay, children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Please, go and do it carefully in your room. I wish you the best of luck. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. 
carry. You can't carry that in the way. Tony, please help me. I'm sitting here. Now, wow. Ah, ah, cheap. Daddy! Daddy, money! Daddy, money! What is this? See, Daddy, it has happened again. Mm -hmm. Yes! What is this? I've gotten the numbers announced for first position. Oh. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy! Yes, Daddy! It is! It is! Yes, ah. Daddy! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> 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 Praise God! Hallelujah! Father Lord, ah. we thank you. God, thank, thank you, you for embarrassing our family with blessings. Ah. God is good! God is good. <laughs> Tony, why are you crying? What is it? Tony, what's happened? Tony, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Why are you crying? Why now? Tony, why are you crying? When I think about the goodness and love of God of our family, I begin to shed tears of joy. Look, Tony, we are very proud of you. Mm. And we thank God for your life. Yes. Eh? And we pray for many, 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 many more of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, dear, what are we going to do now? What else? We will go and claim the gift, of course. Yes. Abby. Mm. Look, we can't allow such a golden opportunity mm. to sleep by. Yes, so. Look, uh, sweetheart, Sir. go and get prepared. Yes, sir. Anita, yes, sir. please go and get prepared. Mm. Uh, look, okay. Hurry up, uh, Tony. Look, we can't all go together. Eh? So you will stay behind with Jesse. Eh? It's okay, my boy. Eh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yes. Look, you must definitely pay. You have to buy your brother biscuits. Now, boys, look. Um, I will be going back very soon. You see, we forgot to take Anita's passport, and we need it to collect the gift. So I'm off. Uh, Tony, please take very good care of your brother. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Good. See both of you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. But am I still with you? Why 
are these dogs barking like this? Definitely, they must have seen something. It is very unusual of them barking during the daytime. Well, whatever it is, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Left at home. What about that? Nothing. Just feeling for your loneliness. Thank you. See you, sir. Oh, praise God. Sir, the Lord has bombarded my family with lots of miracles and blessings. Yes. yes. Sir, this is one of the many miracles and testimonies the Lord has done. Yes. And how did this happen? <laughs> we are just coming from the Honey Mill Company. company. Mm -hmm. The company held the promo and yes. Anita won the first yes. prize. Uh, oh, <laughs> God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anita. Yes. She, she was given. This box. Yes. Praise <laughs> the Lord! Lord. Meet yes. again! Congratulations! Thank you, sir. Thank you very Congratulations! Much. Not only that, sir. Yes, Daddy. She was given a scholarship to yes. study to whatever length she wishes. Praise God! And then, then, when she finishes, a job offer. Praise God! Yes. Praise the Lord! Again, sir. Mm -hmm. She was also given a duplex. Praise <laughs> In God. a very fine location within town. Praise <laughs> the Lord! Hallelujah! Walking God! Congratulations, my dear. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, my dear. Oh, God bless you. Better things with the Lord do. Praise the Lord. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Dad, why went and your phone was ringing? Oh, my phone was ringing? Hey. Ah, that's good. Oh, he's elder. Thank you very much. That's my boy. Ah, Yodu, Didi, Jackson. What's happening? Ah, Yodu. What you are facing now is the repercussion of the confession you have brought into the Honorable Black Star Court. You are guilty of all our reactions. We are not here to kill you. So, don't shout. If you shout, you are dead. We just want to give a mark. Understand? Give him a merciful mark. Short sleeve or long sleeve? Short sleeve.
Oh my god. <laughs> and just because of what? <laughs> I lose the digital camera. <laughs> I lose the scholarship. <laughs> I lose the duplex. <laughs> I lose the onimic box. <laughs> I said that is not enough. I lose my left hand. God, <laughs> have mercy on me. <laughs> Can my sin be that terrible? That sort could not be tasty again. <laughs> God. Thank God you are a Christian. That made me to be more confident over Tony Ziju. Doctor, what is that supposed to mean? I wasn't satisfied with the first test that was conducted. And that is why I conducted the second one. And both have the same results. Look. Doctor, go straight to the point. I am a man. Eh? There is no terrible mountain my God cannot subdue. I have seen cases that are more terrible than this. That turn to testimony. I want to be sure that the weapon that was used to court Tunisian was poisonous. I mean, it has even power in it. You are right, Doctor. You are very right. It's a small axe wrapped with cowries and animal skin. Mm -hmm. That is it. The blood test that was carried out confirms that his blood has been infected with tetanus. Jesus! <laughs> My advice before now should have been that we cut the remaining amputated hand. But now, it's beyond that level. The recent blood test that was conducted shows that the whole blood is infected. Doctor, ah, but look, what is the solution? I mean, there must be a solution. There must be. This boy is still very dear to me. I mean, he is dear to every one of us. Pastor, ah, the truth is that there is nothing we can do medically for now. The only thing I can advise you is to handle the issue spiritually. Oh, Jehovah Rapha. Short forever, you generation of vipers. You hardened your heart against the counsel of God. You were so blind to have left 
the creator only to worship the creatures. God has already pronounced your judgment in Exodus chapter 22, verse 19. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. I therefore enforce the judgment of death upon both of you now. Depart! Who is this? Is this not success? So says, you are a righteous man. The record reveals that you used all your life to live righteously and you were fulfilled ministerially. Why then all the attachments on your body? Can't you understand? Who is speaking? I am Sources Shadow. And can't you observe that he cannot speak on his own due to the burden and yoke of sin on him? I was being authorized to speak on his behalf and to witness to all his deed while he was on earth. But you are not to witness against him. Why should a righteous man suffer as a sinner? Yes, yes, you are partially right. But can't you observe those things on him? Those things carry a lot of weight. So what are they for? The red ones are the sins he committed before he accepted Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. Why the black ones are the sins of his parents. And have you forgotten? He is being conceived and born even sin. The green one stands for the sin which people committed through him. Why the yellow one stands for those sins he has committed unknowingly. But the white. These you are referring to have all been settled by the spirit of adoption. Yes, yes, you are right. But in his own case, it's different. A man offended him while he was on earth. And honestly, it was an offense indeed. But he was unable to forgive him before he died. He has forgotten the word of God as it is written in Matthew 6, 14 to 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive you also. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you your trespasses. That is why the word of God returned all his previous sins back to him. What a tragedy. Hmm. Depart! Ah! Stop there. Why are you on the way of the righteous? You are not permitted to go beyond that place. How do you mean? I, Tony Michael, grew up to know myself in faith and highly gifted, filled with the Spirit of God with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I'm a challenge to my generations. I destroy cultism and organize a Christian fellowship gathering in our school, which can never be destroyed. Zeal towards souls winning shot in my life. Stop sweating in vain and save yourself the details. You can't walk in the path of the righteous. No. I reject that. This righteous path is mine. In Jesus' name. Of a truth, the righteous way used to be your way. Until a few weeks ago, when you gave it out in exchange for material things that have no eternal value. Are you saying God has denied me of my rights? No. I didn't say God. I said you have denied yourself of your rights. Myself? Yes. But how? You remember the competition of Cash Them Young for Christ? After it, the moderator said, This competition has packaged an hour of refreshment for every contestant at this competition. And so, you will need to go to the reception to have yourself refreshed. And then after that, you will come back here for your gifts.
guess our moderator didn't want me to become first during the quiz competition. Mm -hmm. And what benefits would that be for me? Sorry. You are selfish. And I'm seeing the other side of you today. You don't want to fail, but you want me to fail. Isn't it? Thank you, ma. I will call her. I don't mean it that way. All I meant is that the question you said I got wrong, answer them correctly. Hello, Anita. Hello, sir. Bimpe has put to bed. Oh, praise God! He said that Bimpe has put to bed. Hallelujah! Why did you drop the key to our house? We said you should drop it with Mommy Glory in the morning when we are on our own way to the hospital. I'm with her now. She says she has not seen you today. Ah, Uncle, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I was in a hurry in order not to be late for the quiz competition we are having today. But I will make sure I get you in the next 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. Tony, you know what? I will not be able to wait for the price again. I will have to go and drop the key for Uncle now. I will give you a note. I will go and see the moderator myself. All is well. This for me as well. Alright. Ah! Papa Sakwe, what happened now? Why do you stop? Please, my son. Uh, excuse me for a while. I want to get to the toilet. I've been poisoned since yesterday. Eh? I don't know what I ate. Eh? All is well. for you over what is bothering your heart that can do you good. The two gifts are with you. Why can't you change the first position tag from the television set and place it on the carton of milk? Remove the second position tag from the milk and place it on the television set since no one knows about it yet. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I have a condemnation of heart to do that. The carton of milk is mine, which is very clear that the television set belongs to Anita. Though I'm not contented by it, but there's nothing I can do. God knows about it. You have a point, so. But be very sure that if the carton of milk gets on, everyone from the family will share for it and it will get finished. Meanwhile, the television will be left and named after Anita forever. Change it. I want it so. So, is that not the spirit? Yes, I am. Any good news for me? I've come to remind you of some vibrant words. I would like to hear them. Esau was destined to be the heir, but because of a morsel of porridge, he sold his birthright and became the least. That is the word of covetousness. He had the great king die mysteriously because he coveted Naboth's vineyard. King David, a man after God's heart. He only coveted Uriah's wife, and God's anger and wrath rose against him and his household. So, God said, Thou shalt not convert thy neighbor's thing. Godliness with contentment is a great gain. Don't allow the flesh to deceive you, to go against the counsel of your God, 
so that you might not miss the forthcoming blessing. Thank you for your wonderful counsel and concern. I've given my own counsel. Look. The ball is in your court. Since you have denied somebody of his right, heaven has also denied you of your right. The very day you converted somebody's blessing to yourself was the day heaven turned your joy into sorrow. Ah! The Bible says, What ye would that men should do unto you, do ye likewise to them. For with the same measure ye meet, without it shall be measured to you again. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. Ah! Ah! What a tragic end. Please. Please help me. I would like to go back to the world to do necessary restitutions. I wish I could help you. But alas, there is no correction in the grave. There is no restitution for the dead. And as it is appointed unto men who wants to die. But after this, the judgment. God. God. This is too much for me. Ah. Ah. I lost everything on earth. Including my left hand, just because of that little lie. <laughs> Would that little lie make me lose my eternity again? Ah, what a pity. The repercussion of a little lie is disastrous. Ah. Revelation ah. chapter 21, verse 8 says, But be fearful and unbelieving. And the abominable, ah. and murderers, and warmongers, yeah. and sorcerers, and idolaters, ah. and all liars ah. shall have their part in the lake which burned to fire ah. and brimstone, which is the second death. Ah. 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 I'm doomed! I'm doomed! Depart! Gather to their home.